Just kidding. We obviously need a pre-intro talk. Hi. Hello everybody and welcome to this video to this video and the purpose of this video which is not this rather this uh, that is right do you remember me yeah I started out making videos with this little counter not this one, because this one is freaking awesome. But rather the old design. That was met with awesome amounts of positive reviews and stuff like that, you know. Positive emotion. And yeah, I really didn't do anything with it. Just until two days ago, I decided to completely redesign it. And this is it. This is the final product. I am extremely proud of it. Disclaimer, this is 100% my design. Don't you dare to, say, to tell me I copied someone, because if I did, I, I, I'm not sure how because I was watching a documentary while I was designing this just that I had that documentary and Minecraft open so don't tell me I copied anyone okay because that'll hurt my feelings I'm telling ya but yeah enough blah blah let's get right to the point which is this baby now <clears throat> Old stuff has returned, for example, button, lever. It has been moved from the obsidian to there because of convenience. But yeah, not much of a big deal, is it? Button is faster, is better. The lever and the button are no longer connected to the same uh, uh, input, output, I don't know. Yeah, output. Uh, the same clock. So. If you press the button, it won't need to do the same thing it should, it would need to do when you press the lever. So it's much faster now. Let me give you a demo. So yeah, that's the button. You can keep going like that, like forever. And here we have the lever. This baby is awesome. I tweaked the clock. So now when you activate the lever and it's constantly going, it changes numbers exactly every second. And, and I mean exactly, you know, I, I carried out a test in which I used the despawn time of an item to, to which is five minutes, translated to 300 seconds to see if this is accurate you know so I put the item in a dispenser press the button hook the same button to the dispenser and to the input here and just wait it by the end it showed 301 seconds so yeah that's that itself is is a is a proof of how accurate this is if you want, uh, you know, actual video proof, if you're the ones that don't believe until I see, well, <clears throat> excuse me, I might do the video. So yeah, let's see this in action. Go.
Oh man, I could stare at that like forever, but I won't because you guys are anxiously waiting to see the back of this and you see nothing. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So another disclaimer, the minimum you can do of width on a horizontal feet tape with, with a horizontal feet tape is seven wide because a horizontal feet tape needs to have seven segments, I mean seven pistons, each to control one of the seven segments on this display. So it's impossible to just to do less than seven. So yeah, you need to have seven, but as you can see, there's no more than seven. My god. Yeah, as I said, I worked pretty hard on this. And yeah, let's look at the wiring. As I said, this design is extremely compact. I worked extremely hard to be able to get this. And yeah, I, I got it and I got it just right. As you can see here, the whole decoding uh, mechanism, the whole decoding wiring, yes, it includes some crazy little trickery and, and stuff. But yeah, I managed to get it to just four wide and that is amazing I think I mean the last uh, decoding mechanism was six wide and that in itself was extremely compact yeah now four man I designed this specifically with this over here so you can integrate an output without going out of the seven wide so yeah, your output, which is another whole row of pistons, is inside the 7 wide. So yeah, let's take a look into that design. This is the, de this is the design with an output. And as you can see here, I'm lagging out. No, for real, what the hell, I'm, running, I'm lagging out. So yeah. As you can see here, nothing more than 7 wide. But here you have the output itself. This is the output. As you can see here, I managed, yeah, again, some tripwire, some trickery, trickaroos. Yeah, managed to do it just fine. So, yeah, I'm extremely proud of this extremely happy of how it turned out you know again you can obviously make this thing count either up or down the 
only changes you need to do are the coatings on the feed tape. Now, if you want a tutorial for all of this, for the output, for how to, to connect it to another display, so you, have, so you can have more than one. Oh, look, just like this. As you can see here, yeah, you don't really need a lot of space to connect them all together. Yeah, if you want a tutorial to know how to do this, I will do it. Just ask for it. That's the main question. If you guys want it, ask for it. I'll do it. That's for sure. On a thing like this, on a thing that I'm so proud about, you, you can for sure have a tutorial. Either way, I will be providing a download for this check the description for that so yeah 